Well, it's been about two weeks since I started her up again. I'm hanging out here with my buddy Jake. Hey, Jakey. Jake, look at me. Where's that boy? Yeah, where's that boy? Yeah, I'm laying so funny. That's a boy. Jake's my boy. Yeah, you are. He hangs out with me everywhere I go. Well, I got her idle on that 1000. It's got the, uh, the style of choke it's made that actually opens up the air vent to the fuel injection. It's kind of similar to the choke, but uh, it's completely shut down where it's running on its own. It don't need no help from it. It started up easy. And I watched that big, the big shot on uh, YouTube, they show good detail on how to maintain these things and how to work on them. Very helpful. And, uh, I appreciate that. I uh, was looking for the idle screw, screw that was just underneath the triangle thing down there on the left, on my, uh, where the key is. Well, I'm trying to zero in on it. I probably should get up and walk through it. But the, the screw is supposed to be under it. It's kind of on the e right side of the edge of the triangle. According to the video, the guy was that. And I had got down there and looked all over the place. And I can't find no idle screw down there. If I twist that throttle all the way to stop, uh, all the way up with no gas added at all, it shuts off. It don't idle. And that, I, uh, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be normal. Uh, it's going to take some getting used to on this bike. I would think you would want that thing to idle a little bit, even all the way up. I would think, I wouldn't think that the throttle would shut it completely off like it does. But once my money gets in, I'll have some general maintenance done to it. Probably. I'm not sure if I want to, I'll probably go take it to, probably Smoking Joe's in Caledonia, Michigan. He, he, he talked to me on the phone, he seemed pretty nice. He kind of wanted me to get rid of the bike. He said they were trying to do away with these, but there's too many of us out here that likes these. And I, I uh, don't want to get rid of it. I want to own it. I want to ride it. I want to enjoy it. It's a nice bike. It runs sweet. It looks sweet. It's got a lot of power. And, uh, 32,000 miles on these, uh, Freedom V20 92 engines are nothing. And they get 90, 100,000. One guy on Facebook, Victory Page, got 90,000 plus miles on his bike. And he, just had a rebuilt and upgraded it to a 100. And he's going to go another 90, 100,000 miles on it. Because these things are really, really good oil in them. They tell me they have a lot more oil than a lot of average V1 engines. And the oil pump in them are outstanding. They don't even make it after much oil pump because they don't need to. Because of the oil pump they got is already like a super duper oil pump. I mean, right now, my bike is idling. It, it, the oil pressure is 50 PSI. And if I, if I run down the street, it's going to run at 70 PSI. That's great oil pressure. I mean, uh, I heard that, uh, like Harley Davidson, uh, I, I have a lot of respect. I like Harley Davidson. I think uh, they got awesome bikes, they're good bikes. Yeah, I love a motorcycle. But they, they, I was told that their oil pumps in the factory, some of them, I don't know if they do it, I bet, I bet they fixed that in the new one. But I heard that the, they, they idle it between 3 and 8 PSI, like you said, that the I, at the road, uh, like that red light or something like that. Your bike is idle with that low oil pressure. Man, and it's a hot summer day. That don't sound good. But our our nation has uh, aftermarket oil pumps for their bikes that makes it better. Uh, but Victory, they just put them in at the beginning, so you don't have to fool with that to buy the aftermarket part. They're upgraded. Just, you can't upgrade.
with the four valves per cylinder versus the two valves like from all the other V twins. Uh, that has extra horsepower. Uh, the, the location of the uh, intake air intake uh, is uh, further away from the diesel pipes uh, than your other V twin engines. It's just, they got theirs right there next to the hot pipe. Uh, uh, which, uh, uh, gaskets and seals. Uh, Victory has only got eight gaskets and seals throughout the whole engine. Uh, a lot of the other bikes, you know, there's up to 63 gaskets and seals. Different places where you possibly get handling. And uh, these Victories are well known for hardly ever getting a leak from your engine. Uh, the percentage of it happening is a lot lower than having that many gas in the field. Uh, that's pretty amazing. Well, just me here talking about uh, this awesome bike. I, I uh, really love this bike. It's an awesome bike. I mean, uh, uh, people say that Victory don't... I was watching a video uh, that they were comparing a Victory uh, Vegas to uh, Harley White Light, I guess it was. Uh, both bikes were awesome bikes. And they were starting them up, and the Victory Vegas sounded wimpy. And the exhaust bikes they had uh, made a sound victory. And the Harley had a lot better start, sound starting up, but even though that started up with a Harley, uh, if it compared it to my bike, my bike sounds better than the Harley. <laughs> my bike sounds cool. It's got a sweet sound. Uh, it, 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 this sound is tough set there. They don't sound wimpy like a lot of the victories when they're cheap exhaust they got. Because I got aftermarket exhaust on this. And uh, uh, this one's going to get treated good. Uh, I was told that I probably should sell it. But I'm not going to sell it. If I might, I don't know. If I get a motorcycle business going where I'm buying and selling.